What's going on guys, we're more team bring guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today's gonna be this is a little short video because I don't have a whole lot to talk about and I gotta kinda make a lot to talk about because we don't have the game this weekend. So I guess to come up with our stuff for videos this week. This is gonna be a short topic, um talking about Landon Collins and his safety position. Um and kinda touched on this a little bit in Monday's video. Uh, coming off a great week, great week win against Dallas. Um but it came at a loss of our starting safety, Landy Collins. Um, a lot of questions were happening this season. He was asked, do you think your production is down this season? He said no. Um, Washington fans were saying otherwise, that his production was low, that his, his missed tackle rate was up. His tackle rate was low and some stuff he was allowed to get by him. He comes out and starts to shut everybody up. Um, Sunday he had a good tackle. And let's not forget the strip sack that he had because Andy Dalton kind of set the tone for the whole game at the beginning of the game. We saw he was down on the ground and he was not really involved in the tackle, so it's like a non-contact. When he gets a non-contact injury, those are the worst. Usually, most of the time it's not contact. It can be a torn ACL, but that happens so easily. Or a torn Achilles, because we've seen it many times with the Cowboys own Jerry McCoy, Des Bryant, all these, and um, speaking of Des Bryant, I'm happy for him. Uh, he's no longer a Cowboy, so no longer have a grudge towards him, but he is now a Baltimore Raven. He's on the practice squad, but it is uh, expected that in a, in a couple weeks, once he's game ready, he will be elevated to the active roster. I'm excited to see him back. Hope he balls out in Baltimore. I think Lamar will greatly have him. I think he's a little shake up in that receiver room, which is mostly smaller speedy receivers and they have that guy that's a 50-50 guy that can that's not, not the fastest but he has a strong hand he can go up and get it I think that'll be a great help for the team um yeah I think it'll be a great signing for them so I'm just happy for him so to speak that um I know he's been wanting to get back in his tweet yesterday saying that he was full of emotions and tears which is amazing to see I'm so happy for him and I've been pulling for him ever since he got out of the Cowboys and what's happened when he went to the Saints, but he tore his Achilles, they let him go, because you don't know exactly how they're going to recover from that. And um, he's back, so I'm happy for him. Um, did a, did a X, that would, and that, yeah, that was his thing. Um, but yeah, so back to Landon Collins, uh, he'll be having surgery Monday. A lot of people expected us to sign Eric Reed, like on the spot. You know, him and Rivera have a lot of history with Carolina. He's gonna be his starting safety. Well, in the way the NFL is this year, um, most players, when they get signed, they go to the practice squad, get game ready, and then they get elevated just by the way it works and people are more open to it. However, Eric Reed told, um, I think it was Tom Pelissero or John Kyung that um, he was offered a spot on the practice squad and declined. Uh, it's kind of weird because I don't know if he's really going to get another offer this season. I think he should have taken it. I think that might be a bad move by him. But uh, he declined, so it's kind of like, well, that's kind of a shock. I'm pretty sure Rivera was probably shocked. And that's like, yo, dude, you know, we did so much in Carolina together. You know, you know, I backed you up when you wanted to, when he, when Eric Reed did his um, stance in the anthem. And I said Monday, I didn't like, I don't like the guy, but I like his ability, the playing ability. And I'd be willing to put my feelings to the side if, he would just come in and produce. Um, where do we move on from here now that Eric Reed isn't? Do I think Eric Reed's fully done? No, I think they offer him a spot on the active roster. He'll take it. Maybe. I think he just didn't want to be called the practice squad guy. He thinks he's above it. I think he should take it. But the way the NFL is this year, I think you're better off taking that practice squad and then them signing you to the active roster. It just works better in all parties. But he didn't. So then it's like, all right, well, then what the heck are we going to do? So are you going to move Troy Aki over because he started earlier in the season? Or what are you going to do? And um, we're going to be starting the rookie from Arkansas. Yes. Um, Cameron Curl, who has produced well in his first games. He has been very good. I think he's been flying around the ball a bit. I, um, I liked his production. I thought he, he should have started um, wherever. But Everett is really... Showing up on defense, he um, stopped that what would have been probably a touchdown to C.D. Lamb Sunday, 
got up and just tipped it out the way, which is an awesome play. Very heads up football. He's really good, you know. I was um, critical about him making the team this year. I'm like, well, what is he doing for us? And, you know, uh, Troy Aki's production fell. Um, they put the shades right back there. And he's, I mean, not, nothing flashy. I'm not getting his name called too much, but a lot of times on defense, when your name's not getting called a lot, that's typically a good thing unless you're creating a turnover or a sack or something. But, uh, yeah, so Cameron Coulson back there, 31. Uh, see him fly around. He, he's a good hitter. He's made some good tackles. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, speaking of this position, we are number one in the league in pass defense after Sunday. And I criticized before the season. I'll take it. I criticized before the season. We were going to be really good on the run, but bad on the pass. We're number one in the league against the pass. Number four defense overall, so round of applause for defense because they are flying around balling this year. Uh, it's been awesome. It's been fun to watch them, and maybe and I think Sunday people were saying, "What is the game Sunday was wasn't again? It really counts because it's against the Cowboys, and you know, yeah, you know, we're playing against more competitive teams. But that game, we have so many openings. That's a really good for chemistry building game. A beautiful game just to build chemistry, and I think. Um, Kyle Allen just getting some targets to Terry McCorn uh, in that game is going to be a huge help going on in the season. And just it could this game, even against a terrible team, could be a game changer. I think it's awesome that um, that chemistry is being built. Um, but yes, uh, everybody wish Landon Collins well in the surgery Monday. You know we're flying high right now on defense, so let's hope Cameron Curl and Shazer can keep that going. And um, yeah, so let's uh, pray for his health, pray for his recovery, pray for his rehab. Uh, anything down there in the foot, ankle area is something bad to have. Like I said previously, I'm dealing with the ankle sprain, um, but it's not that bad, so I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, yeah, so it's awesome. Let's keep enjoying our victory week can get Dallas. We get two weeks to enjoy because we don't play a game this week, which sucks, but this is my thing. We, I love seeing when we don't have a game and the other NFC East teams lose, sadly. Two NFC East teams are playing each other, and I think I think it's like Giants and Cowboys. The Giants probably beat them, but who knows? Um, yeah. So yeah, and for those wondering who you want to pull for, you want to pull for the Giants. You want to pull for the Giants someday. So yeah, it's a good week. Uh, again, wish Glenn Collins well. It's um, welcome Cameron Curl with open arms to our starting defense going into this week and let's see going into next week actually and see how he produces. He has a whole he has over a week to get, you know, formulated to being a starter. And um Land Collins was a captain, so that's some big shoes to fill. So yeah, it's gonna be an awesome week. So I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure that thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure that bell button to notify every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station or another video to my channel. Make sure you comment your thoughts down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. You know, let's get my numbers up. Got a lot of things coming, especially around Christmas time when I get home and really get to start working with the green screen again. I'm gonna start doing some more stuff. So yeah, so I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. I'm on Morris. I'm out. Peace.